Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make this very simple and very easy stacked clustered column chart. So uh, if you look at the standard, um, we just click in a cell here and go up to insert, to the standard column choices that you have when you're creating a chart, you'll see there's really just three types that are there. There's the uh, clustered column, there is the stacked column, and then there's the 100% stacked column. Now you'll notice there's no choice in here to combine these two, which is if you'd like a clustered column, but you want to have stacks on that, so what you might call a stacked clustered column um, or a clustered stacked column uh, it's not a choice here in Excel I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create one of those uh, so that you can get something like this so we have product one and we have product two this is say an advertising spend and we have budgeted money and actual monies for product one that was spent on advertising for four different types radio print TV and internet as you can see over here in the legend and you can combine what was spent budgeted and it's actually spent actuals for product one versus product two and you can see how those compare so a lot of people want to create this type of chart to have a stacked or a clustered stacked column chart in Excel let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that first thing that I'm going to recommend is how you set up your data is very very important so you can see I've got the four different choices here radio print internet and TV these are what's going to be in our legend and then over here on the left, I have our products. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a multi-level category labels in our column chart. And so you can see we've got budgeted numbers and we've got actual numbers right below those. Uh, then we have product two following a very similar format. So these multi-level access labels are what's going to help us create this. Then I have a separate row here separating the uh, information to give us just a little bit of uh, separation in the chart. And I've got it set up out here on the far right called white fill. This is so that we can actually break it up even further and I'll show you how we do that so that the grid lines look like they go away and the uh, clustered stacked column charts uh, are grouped more like that together. The one other thing I want to say is if you look in here, in column A on this blank row, I'm also going to put a space in here. So there is a space. If you go up into the formula bar, you will see there's a space in there uh, up here in the formula bar. So I have that space in there to create an extra line of groupings in the multi-level uh, horizontal access labels. So let's go ahead and show you how we make that. So we've got our data set up in this way. What we want to do is we want to highlight our data range. Let's go up to the insert ribbon. Then we want to go to the column chart. Then we don't want to pick the standard cluster, clustered column chart. We need to pick the stacked column chart. And then we're going to uh, fake or trick Excel into creating this as a cluster, if you will. So I'm going to move this up here so that you can see it. Now, um, this isn't set up the way that we want it, and you can look at my blog and find out why Excel is setting up our data this way in our chart. But what I want to do is I want to click in our chart, and I want to go up to our design ribbon. From the design ribbon, you want to hit the switch row column button. All right. <clears throat> now, what you can see here is Excel has created are um, stacked column charts and because I've made this a multi-level category labels down here uh, it's already kind of grouped them for us so let's show you uh, back over here in the chart uh, data range remember I had a space over here let me hit delete on cell A5 and look what that does over here it actually uh, says product one goes from the budget row the actual row and this white fill row and then product two starts at the next row which is budget and actuals well I want to kind of break this up so I want this line to carry down here and in order to do that I need to make it look like it's another category and I'm just gonna hit a space over here in A5 and look at that uh, product now ends after budget and actuals this is seen as another grouping and then product two we're pretty close to actually getting done with what we need to be done with. Uh, what we want to do is I want to right click on any one of these series. 
I want to go up to my Format Data Series dialog box. Let's move this over here a little bit. And we want to change the gap here to like no gap or 25% uh, gap somewhere in there. I kind of like 20 or 25% myself. I like to show the grid lines are still in there so you can kind of see where the data falls. Um, now, we are, this is a series here called the white fill. We need to change this to white. Uh, so let's right click on this column of data, click on Format Data Series. Then we want to go to the Fill menu options, and we want to choose a solid fill, and we want to choose a color of white, which is up here in the top left. Once we do that and hit close, uh, you can see the grid lines are kind of going away for uh, this area here, which is uh, making it look even more clustered. However, since we have this series going up to 701, which is the one above our highest grid line for the uh, maximum major grid lines here, um, Excel is going to make our vertical axis go all the way up to uh, another 20% above that, which is like 800. So let's right click on our vertical axis, click on Format Axis, then we want to change our minimum to zero, fixed, and we want to change our maximum. Let's go to 701 and click on close. Now look at that, the white column, this white fill column goes all the way up and actually kind of hides that top grid line. Look, it's broken right there. And uh, we have our products grouped by budget and actuals with our stacked column charts. They're clustered together now. Uh, the only thing we need to do to finish this off is just remove this white fill label from our legend. We can click on our chart, click on the legend, click once more on the white fill uh, label there in the legend, and then hit your delete key. You can see now it's gone as well. Uh, so there you have it, a real quick and easy way to create a clustered stacked column chart in Excel, which uh, they do not have that as a chart type, but uh, you can make it yourself um, very easily by just using the multi-level tiered function in Excel. Now let's right click one last thing on this very bottom horizontal axis. Click on Format Axis. You can see here's where that choice is, Multi-Level Category Labels. If I uncheck that, it is only going to use the first column right next to our data. So if I click on that and click on Close, look at that. It's got Budget and Actual. Budget for product two and actual. It's it's not tiering those um, together. Uh, it's still going to give us a clustered effect. But what we want to do is just right click on that, format axis. Let's add that multi-level category labels back in there. Click on close, and uh, you can see it's going to go ahead and create that clustered effect for you in a stacked column chart. This also works for bar charts. If I click on this chart, go up to my um, design ribbon and if I click on change chart type and if I go to the bar chart areas and if I change this to a stacked bar chart uh, look at that it's gonna do a clustered and stacked bar chart as well so it works either way uh, it's just tricking Excel especially using these um, cate multi-tiered category labels so hopefully that helps you please uh, ask a friend to come visit our site as well and check out our YouTube videos so that they learn about it as well also don't forget to become a subscriber on my YouTube channel thank you very much and I hope you have a great day